Hey, I'm Mac. Welcome back to my channel. So apparently, you guys, I, I think that we just really are being total haters about the incredibly tragic events that happened at the paparazzi convention. Well, they didn't happen at the paparazzi convention. They happened following the paparazzi convention. Um, so we're just going to get straight into it. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe if you like what you see. Um, remember I have a Patreon, it'll be linked in the description or in a card. Uh, we're gonna get right into it as a paparazzi hun sets the record straight for us um, uh, on, on, on what happened and what it means and what we need to do to just be, you know, more focused people in our lives and more successful in life. Okay, and what life is really about. So let's get right into it. Hi guys, I am here to talk to you because, you know, we love these talks. Um, haven't been on here in a while and I um, want to talk to you guys about a few things. So I'm going to wait to see if people start jumping on here and I um, want to go over a few things and I actually want to share this, but it's not letting me share it. Okay, so if you can't share this, I'm so sorry, send me a message and I'll get this downloaded and I can send this video over to you. But um, you guys, I have been getting a bunch of messages, calls, text messages. Seriously, the amount, the places of communication are ridiculous and I love it, love, love, love it. Hi you guys, thanks for jumping on. So what I've been getting quite a bit is people are frustrated. They are, feel like they're complacent. What do they do? How do they get more followers? How do they do things? How do they get more team members? What do they do? Well, you guys, sitting on Facebook, watching other consultants, sitting on Facebook and scrolling through your feed, that is not working your business. So I'm sorry if this is going to, hi Natasha, hey you guys, I see you jumping on. Um, this is not going to help your business. So you guys, I get on, I'll do a post and then I get off because I am so busy trying to, um, I've got a big sign in my room and I forgot to bring it out here. It says, how are you going to move the needle today? How, what are you going to do that is going to move you to the next level? What are you doing right now? So if it's you want to lose weight, well, eating a donut is not going to help you. I'm in that boat. I'm like, mm, I'm going to eat this hamburger from McDonald's because I love McDonald's. But that's not going to help me drop weight. Every decision that you are making right now is going to push you and it's going to move that needle one way or another. So is that going to move you to the next level? Is that going to help your business where you're fine to go to a job? Imagine that 10 of your coworkers have just died. And this, this is what you start off with. This is, this is you, this is your first live stream after that's happened. And this is like less than a week after, or like maybe two weeks maximum after some of, uh, the, some of the passings. And th this is what you're talking about. By the way, she posted this, I believe this was on Instagram and Facebook Live, and then she posted it on YouTube, but then she deleted it off YouTube because a YouTube had a little bit more backlash for her. Oh, and this was sent in by Sheila. Thank you, Sheila. Sheila is one of my patrons. And work for a boss for eight hours a day, you're fine and make someone else money. People are fine to go to school for 10 years, eight years, four years, and pay money to get an education, but you're not willing to put that into your business. You're not willing to put that into helping you make money. Well, you guys, paparazzi is where it's at. I have had more people contact me than I can even begin to tell you because they say, Brittany, you're awesome. I want you on my team. I'm like, nobody's ever said that. Guess what? I, I play the game. I'm nice for a little bit. I'm like, oh, that's sweet. Thank you. No, thank you. No, one what message they send me back. Well, no, would you please do this? 
No, then it's Brittany turns on and it's like, nope, sorry you guys, we are not playing this game. Like, I want you on my team. Do you know what I, and, and I asked him straight up, I had somebody come knock on my door. They legit showed up at 10 o'clock at night, some great friends. They knocked on my door and they said, here, we need to tell you about this great opportunity that You answered the door? We were just told. Are you guys knocking on people's doors? You guys have it easy. You have that live button right there. So what does paparazzi have for you? Well, number one, they have, and I have all my notes, okay? They have, um, and it's not just paparazzi, it's looking at a business in general. What, if you are going to make money, you need to look at, there's five things you need to look at of making money. So number one, it's the product, okay? Well, what about the product? Okay, is, it, is there a need for the product in the marketplace? <laughs> um no <laughs> someone who works for a company that sells cheap ass ugly gumball machine looking five dollar trash jewelry is there a need for the product in the market? There's a need for ours. Is there one for yours? Jewelry, <laughs> there's never been a need for jewelry, but if we're talking about like supply and demand, again, I don't think there's that much demand for shitty, you know, $5 jewelry, sweetie. I don't, I can't believe this. <laughs> I can't believe this is what you're talking about. 10 people died in your company. And you're you're talking about you're talking about this. Also, I, I don't see what paparazzi had. Paparazzi didn't invent Facebook Live. I, I anyone can use Facebook Live. You, it's not like oh, only paparazzi can use Facebook Live. Also, I'm still very concerned that she answered the door for someone unexpected at 10 p.m. I, I would just not answer the door. It's weird. And if they came in, if they, if I answer the door and they're going to give me an MLM pitch, I, oh my God, I would slap them in the face. Of course, you look back into the Stone Age, people had jewelry, people wear jewelry. It's even through the, the wars, through um, that, what did people take? They took their jewelry and they would swallow it or they would hide it. They would smuggle it. People love jewelry. Okay. Okay, well, I think what you're thinking of is the Holocaust, and, and that was because the Nazis were going to take the gold jewelry from the victims and, and, like, melt it down and keep it as money. It's, it's not really the same as being like, oh, because I love jewelry. It's it's because it's uh, it, 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 the Nazis were going to take it to use it for the value of the gold. It wasn't just because, like, they really liked how it looked. That wasn't the main driving thing there. So I don't know what you're talking about there with the war, but... Furthermore, I, I all of that jewelry is, like, handcrafted, so it's worth a lot more than paparazzi. And it's not five... It's not $5 jewelry. No one's swallowing $5 jewelry to keep it. And for five bucks, you guys, and I'm sorry, but there are pieces that we have gotten. I don't even know how Misty Kirby has been able to take the product, have the quality, and have it for five dollars. I go into stores and... Uh, it's probably sweatshop labor. I will look at the jewelry and I will sit there and I'll be like, oh my goodness. How is this, like, this? is $20, this is $50, mine is $5 and it's a better quality than what's there. That's probably due to exploitative labor practices and terrible environmental practices, if, if, if it really is quality, which it's probably not. But I'm not gonna tear them down, I'm not gonna say anything. I you just did. I just think in my head, thank you that I am in a company that they take pride in their product. So that- Wait a minute, wait a minute. They take pride in their product by selling it for only $5 when they could sell it for more? 
everything is worth what the purchaser will pay for it. That's number one. Is there a need? Yes, there's a need. No, there's not. Is there, um, does it meet the needs? Yes. No. Yes, this jewelry does meet the need because they stay up with the trends. It's constantly changing, which where there's no other company that has the product changing where, guess what? I want some lipstick. I know 20 different people that sell this same lipstick. I can go to my neighbor across the street. I can go to this person. I can go to this person. Guess what? Paparazzi, everybody has a different inventory. Okay. I know you work for an MLM, but most people don't go, I need a lipstick. Let me go to my person across the street. Most people are going to go to like Sephora or, you know, Ulta Beauty or whatever, or, you know, a drugstore, or whatever, depending on what price point they're looking for, or they'll go online. Cause, cause then you can see everything that's available. Or if you go to Sephora, you can like try it on, try all the samples or whatever and see what it looks like. No, see, you're, for, you're forgetting that stores exist is the, is the thing here. That's your problem. Also, I, trends, I mean, yeah, I guess there are trends in jewelry, but like, I, I don't know, jewelry is usually a little bit more timeless. So with that being said, you guys have the niche in the market, okay? Also, is it price to sell? It's five bucks. Yeah, $5 jewelry makes me concerned. Everybody has five bucks. I, I don't have $5 for jewelry. I'm pretty sure if you went and looked through your couch cushions, went and looked in your pockets. You have $5 in your couch? Looked in the laundry room. You can scrounge money t together to have five bucks. Okay, if you're scrounging money together to make $5, Please don't spend it on cheap jewelry. And just with one necklace, it's going to change somebody's whole outfit. So they don't have to change. They don't have to go buy a new shirt. They don't have to do anything. These are things that you can use to help your business. It's you have to buy a new shirt if you don't have a necklace? What the fuck? I'm so confused. Is it price for profit? Yes. You guys are making money. I remember I would go and sit at shows and I would have people, they'd look at me and they'd just scoff. They're like, guess what? I'm making $40 off this one thing or I'm making $20 off this one piece. Guess what, girl? Do you know I can sell five pieces of jewelry quicker than you're selling that piece and I'm making 45% off each piece and by me making 45%, I just made way more money than you did. So yes, there is profit to be made in this business. Wow. Wait a minute. You sold five pieces of jewelry. How did you make more than... How did you make more than $40 if you sold five pieces? Also... <laughs> wow, you made... <laughs> you made $40. Well, shit. Like, that's not what I make in two hours at my job. <laughs> That's not less than what I'm going to make on this video. <laughs> I mean, if we're going to be we're being honest here. Like <laughs> I also I can't I can't believe this is what you're talking about. Like days after all this stuff about convention has come out. This is what you're talking about. I guess I think what she's trying to do is she's trying to like set the set the stage of like how awesome paparazzi is because like think about how terrible of a place the world would be if there weren't like cheap ass ugly five dollar jewelry sold by mlms like i i can't even imagine it would be such a nightmare so i think that's what she's trying to do. she's trying to like build it up and then she's gonna like talk about i think that's what she's doing i hope that's what she's doing i hope she's gonna talk about it otherwise boy we are wasting a lot of time okay number two we're gonna talk about so number one product these are things you need to look at in a business. Number two, the company, okay? Tell me about the company. Well, you guys, I don't know what company out there, the owners are willing to stay up all night long trying to figure out a way to get you your product, to get you the latest trends. 
I'm sorry, but there are times that they're running on 20 minutes of sleep. What about to keep you alive? If not, going two days without sleep because they are busting their butts so you can have product, so you can have the latest trends. Okay, well, that just sounds like they're really inefficient workflow then because you you shouldn't have to you shouldn't have to stay up for two days like if you're staying up for two days you're you, you need you should be getting better results than this if you're spending that much time there's something wrong if you're having to do that on a regular basis which i suspect you're not i suspect this is one of those like kind of capitalism dick measuring contest things where it's like oh yeah i work had this many hours and i work this many hours and it's like oh, okay well enjoy like <laughs> uh i'm sure you'll be very happy you did that when you're on your deathbed um but the the i mean they're willing to keep you up with the latest trends but what about keep you alive what about it seems like they weren't willing to stay up late to provide a web stream of their convention. I mean, we, like, why couldn't they do that? What was the deal with that? Why not? They they couldn't give a refund for tickets for the convention. Why couldn't they do that? So you can have a wonderful business that you can provide for your family, for you to go on vacation, for you to have retirement, for you to have things in your life. Girl, who does that ever happen for? But guess what? Retirement. You don't have retirement. What other company is doing that? They say, oh, we're going to hire someone else to do that. Oh, we can, we can push that off. That's when quality starts going down. The quality starts going down when the owner is staying up for two days on a regular basis. That's when quality starts going down. You cannot function staying up all the time. I don't know how, like, that's how you have accidents. That's how you end up, you know, oversleeping. That's how you end up crashing your car. Like, ugh. The owners in this company, I know personally, and I can tell you what, from day one to even 10 years later, they will bust their butts. They have spent time, hours, years. They counted it up when they told me it was the, um, two years ago in EMP. Trent Kirby had counted up. He had been in China for at least two years of his children's life. Would you want to do that? I can guarantee you, if you put in the same hours that the owners of this company are putting in, you would be pulling in hundreds, thousands, thousands of dollars. What? So I have to, I have to... So let me get this straight. I have to work like however I have to stay up for days at a time. So we're probably talking like 80 hours a week or more to get thousands of dollars. What? I work eight hours a day. Five days a week. So 40 hour weeks generally. And I, I mean, and I make thousands of dollars. I thought she was going to say hundreds of thousands of dollars, which would be bullshit. But at least that would be closer to worth it. Uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not working that kind of hours for thousands of dollars. That's. That's not good. For that much for that much work. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, you missed two years of your children's lives for five dollar jewelry. That sucks. Also. I'm sorry, but until you can explain to me why they're willing to bust their butt, but they are not willing to, I don't know, was it, was it too expensive to offer a streaming version of the convention? Was it, was it too difficult? What was it? Explain that to me because that resulted in 10 people dying. So that's going to kind of take priority over anything else here. I mean, I know that they gave us the latest trends, but then they killed 10 people. But you guys, there's some things that I go home to my children at night. Guess what? There's nights that they don't get to go home to their kids because they are trying. Uh, some of your consultants never got to go home to their kids ever again. So. 
I, the fact that that doesn't occur to you suggests that you really don't care about them that much. Because it seems like you haven't realized what actually happened and that they were human beings. To have the systems put in place. They're trying to have the website up. They're trying to have... Why didn't the website have a streaming version of the convention? These things for you, okay? They're damned if they do and they're damned if they don't. I'm sorry, but if you sit back and you are to look at it, so we're going to talk about convention for a minute because this has been a conversation brought up and I'm not frustrated about it at all, okay? If corporate did not have convention, how many people would be angry and they would be, I'm sorry my language, but they would be pissed that we did not have convention. Pissed, but alive. So I don't know how many people would be angry, but we have 10 people who are dead. You can get over being angry, but I don't think you can get over being dead. Last year, people were angry that we did not have convention. But they were alive. It is out of their control that there is a pandemic. There are... But it is within their control that they're having a convention. It's within their control that they basically boxed the consultants in and kind of forced them to go. Not like, but they did all, everything that they could to short of forcing them to go. I mean, it was everything you could do short of actually forcing them to go. They couldn't give a, a, a web stream of it. They could have canceled. I gave you all the options in my last video. So many people out there that are having conventions, people- Yeah, but those other conventions are requiring vaccines, they're requiring masks, they are requiring negative tests. That's very different from what you guys did. You guys didn't require vaccines. You guys clearly didn't enforce the mask law. So don't come over here and act like there was nothing you could do. People are having concerts, but you're not hearing about any of that stuff. You're not hearing about people getting- We're not hearing about the concerts because, for example, Lollapalooza, nobody even went to the hospital, let alone died as a result because it required vaccines. That's why you're not hearing about it, because it's a non-news item. N what? Concert held, no one died? Concert, massive success? That's why you can have a convention, but you can't have it in the stupid way that you did. Jesus Christ. Do you understand that 10 people died? 10 people died. Getting sick. Paparazzi has not said don't talk about convention. But you've said don't talk about people dying. Don't talk about, they have not said any of that. Talk about convention. Talk about what you've learned talk about what's going on i understand things are going on oh i see so so talk about convention but only talk about those things casey had a baby there's people that couldn't go because they had cancer because things are going on i understand so someone had a baby there were people who couldn't go because they had cancer any other things happen did anything else happen no? Hmm. There have been times in my life that I've had to take a step back from this business, and it is okay. But you sitting home looking at all these messages and these lives on Facebook, that's not building your business. That's not pushing you to the next level. You are not going to be moving up in rank by you watching these other people, and you're playing into this. You can either look at it as the glass is half full or half empty. I don't see a lot of things and I apologize if people have sent posts to me and tagged me and things. I am so busy trying to boost my business to the next level to create trainings for my team, to be there as a support, to help you out, to do all of these things for you. That is what corporate is doing is for you. So sitting back watching a live, I don't even have time to go and look at other lives and sit there and, and I get calls that it's like, well, this is being said, this is being said. Well, you need to take a step back because is that really what's going on? What is the real thing that's going on here? Is it disgruntled people? Is it people that are frustrated? What is the real thing? And if you have enough- It's, it's 10 people 
are dead as a result of the paparazzi convention, ma'am. Time to sit there and watch other consultants going live. One, you should be watching them to get tips and tricks for you to use for your own business. But guess what? If you're not doing that, you're not working your business. If you're sitting there scrolling through Facebook. There are things that are more important than business. Facebook and it's just doing the mind numbing thing, you're not working your business. So don't you come complaining to me that your business is not moving, that you're not getting more people on your sales. You're not getting more likes. You're not getting this, this, and this. Because you guys, I did not hit empire by just sitting on my butt. I bust my butt every single day. I went in and had surgery. I should have been down in a chair for six weeks. Guess what? I told my doctor I would be back in my office after one week. Well, that's a good way to get an insurance claim denied. Because you're doing things that are against medical advice. Oh, that's right. You don't have health insurance. Um, I mean, that's that's just a bad idea. That That's see, she's she, I've I've talked about this before on my channel. She's she's the martyr who who needs to constantly just talk about how hard they work. They do everything around here and, you know, they don't need to do this and they don't go home and they never relax. And I haven't seen my kids in 29 years and da 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 da. I work five million hours a week and uh, <laughs> poor me. I'm such a hero. You're not a hero. You are a toxic person to work with who brings down the rest of the team. So. I mean, good for you. I don't know what you want. You want a fucking medal? Besides, it seems like you don't understand that people are more important than business. So. I may have been a little loopy, but I was still there. I was showing up. If you're loopy, please don't come to work, especially like, I mean, I understand, like I get, I get it at office shop. I hope that you did not drive there. See, this is the kind of thing that this workaholism causes is you get loopy and you're driving to work, you're commuting. That's how you have an accident. Are you showing up? Because if you're not showing up, you just need to sit back. You don't need to answer it here. I don't care. You need to answer it. Kind of seems like you care. To yourself. But it depends on what you want. What do you want? So if it's going to be sitting there watching other people being frustrated and getting involved in the drama. The drama. Imagine 10 of your coworkers have died and you call it the drama. I'm done with drama. I'm done with negativity. I don't want to hear it, okay? Flat out. So for everything that you have that's an issue going on, if you wanna to come to me and talk to me about it, you need to come up with two solutions how you're gonna fix this problem. I mean, uh, well, so that's the thing with death is like, you, you can't really, can't really like reverse it, you know? So that's, that's why you have to be careful and cautious and take precautions when they're recommended to you. Because you can't fix it, so. But watching other people and watching this and that, I'm sorry, that's not going to help you. All it's going to do is it's going to cause frustration and you're going to get on the dark train and dark train. It does not help. The dark train is like whatever led to that convention. So be positive, be happy, love your life because that's what it's all about. Yeah, love your life because you never know when paparazzi will fucking end it and then refer to it as drama and negativity. What do you really want? So again, when you're looking for another business or if you're looking at a business, 
So I've already told you product, Paparazzi has the product. They've got the niche in the market, hands down they've got it. Cause heaven forbid I can't eat another vitamin, I can't drink another drink. I don't want a lipstick that everybody can get their hands on. I want a piece of jewelry that sells out in 30 seconds that nobody has, has access to. Cause I have a different inventory than Ella, than Susan, than Katrina, than Yolanda. I have a different inventory than all of you. And that is what's wonderful about Paparazzi. And I can tell you what, you go in that Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. Um, I know they killed 10 people, but did you hear? Like, they have different inventory. Back office right now, and there are pieces that would have sold out a month ago. So why are they going up now and they're still there? You can put things together. Just because that oil spill sold out, I don't care about that stinking oil spill. Like, quite frankly, I'd rather have that silver necklace that I can put a set together and I can upsell to my customers. That I can show them, look, here's a necklace, here's an earring, here's a bracelet over one necklace that they may not like or they may like. But in all reality, you're showing them that set. You're going to upsell that. Okay? So you've got that. You've got a company that's willing to bust their butt, do whatever it takes. They work their freaking guts out. And not only that, they give back. What other company is giving back to build orphanages? Or orphanages? Is that what you just said? Orphanages. If paparazzi cares so much about orphans, you know, you know paparazzi created orphans with that convention. There was a husband who caught COVID from his wife when she came home from convention and he died and she died several days later. They had children and you took their parents away from them. Am I supposed to feel better that they can go live in the paparazzi orphanage? See, this is what happens. You don't care about you, some, you, you clearly don't. You don't give a shit about the people that you work with and you don't give a shit about this sisterhood. It's all fake. Because if you did, either, either, it's either you don't care to even know who it was that died because otherwise you would know that they had kids. Um, or you knew that and you somehow think that this point makes up for it. Which either way, it's utterly vile heinous, villainous, unbelievable. I cannot believe you have the nerve to bring up orphanages when your company has in at least one case created orphans. I, I, like, like what, you are in a, you're in a cult. Yeah, it's not normal to think like this that are willing to give into organizations and give millions of dollars. They don't have to do that, okay? What other company out there is debt free? So if all crap hits- Apple. It's the fan, guess what? They've got a good, I would not be surprised, would not be surprised that they have a year's worth of inventory sitting in that warehouse. That's terrible business practices. You should not have a year's worth of inventory. That's just, that is, that is dead weight. You should not have a year of inventory. That's not a good thing. That's a bad thing to have that much inventory. The more inv having a lot of inventory is bad. You want to minimize the amount of inventory that you have. You want to have as little inventory as possible while not pissing off customers with out of stocks. See, this is this this is how you can tell they don't understand business at all because you would never you would never be like, "Wow, our company has so much inventory it's like no you have way too much inventory that's a bad thing like if you're reviewing a company's financials or whatever you you don't want like if you would not want to see indicators that they have a, a huge amount of inventory just there especially not a year's worth of inventory that's too much inventory so your businesses will still thrive no matter what is going on you can't get inventory coming in because the ships are stuck at the docks guess what Paparazzi has a reserve. And Thank God. And guess what? It's all paid off. So you don't need to worry about their company going bankrupt. You don't need to worry about their company going out because you have a business. How does that, how does that have anything to do with going bankrupt?
there there's there's they could still go bankrupt because i highly doubt that they can get i highly doubt they can liquidate all that inventory for any reasonable amount of liquidity like i i highly doubt that you can get very much cash out of that and they're gonna have creditors that they have to pay so that's that's See, that's your problem is maybe they don't have a lot of debt, but they also don't have they also kind of don't really have many assets. That is going to be reliable. You have a business that's not going away. That's what you have with this company right here. Every MLM will eventually collapse. OK, compensation plan. People have thrown compensation plans at me and quite frankly, it took me six months to understand this compensation plan. So if you don't understand it, it's okay. The reason that the compensation plan is difficult to understand is because they spend a lot of time crafting it to make it extract as much money out of you and give as little back as possible. It is optimized for that. But I tell you what, with it being said, they are giving back. I've talked to top leaders in other companies. Their, their, um, their companies have changed the compensation plan. They have taken money away from people. They have done this. Paparazzi has created compensation, a compensation plan that you are getting paid out. They want to give back to you. They want you to make money. And that's the biggest thing. It's not just making, if you want to make a little bit of money, great. If you want to make a lot of money, you can make that too. And it doesn't matter when you get into this business. There are people that got in just barely a year ago and they're making more money than what some of the top leaders are making. Just because it doesn't matter when you get in this business, there is room at the top. It's not just one, one person is making all the money. And so that is something very big that they are all about giving back and sharing and not just keeping it all at the top. <sighs> Listen, if paparazzi's compensation plan is so good, then why do you literally have a better chance of dying from COVID that you caught at a paparazzi convention than you do of reaching even the second highest rank at paparazzi. Finish her! I'll wait. They are all about um, having a compensation plan that people can make money. But you're going to make money if you are working this business. So it all depends on you. So with that being said, what are you going to do? Okay. So I had the next thing is support, but I'm going to go into that in a second because what is the support you have? You have a free website from this company. Okay. That's awesome. They have trainings that they give you for free. They also have Every job has free training. Have, you have support from your upline. What am I? If I'm your upline or if I'm not your upline, I did not drop $12,000 this last year for me to go through all this training to create a selling success training for you guys. I went, so one of the trainings that we got yesterday was from, what was his name? Brian um, Carthers. And he was talking about, so this is something to think about. If you were to go live and sell jewelry, okay? Say that you were to make five bucks a day. That's not difficult, you guys. Five dollars a day? What are we doing? Are we sponsoring a child or something? I can make five dollars in... Let's see. I can... <laughs> I make five dollars in 12 minutes, I think. Yeah. That's not good. You were, if you were to make five bucks a day, I'm going to show you this. Okay. Five dollars a day. You were to take a hundred and fifty dollars a month and you were to put it into something. Um, I know he talked about it. I've heard from, um, oh my gosh. Um, um, 
it will come to me. Um, there's also another big motivational speaker um, talks about it in S and P. It's very, very, it's safe. You can put your money in an investment and you do not touch it. Take 10%. Okay, of what you're making. You take that 10% and you put it away. So say that your 10% is $150. Well, guess what? In 10 years, and again, it's going to fluctuate, but this is just kind of a chart he shared us. In 10 years, you could have up to $30,000. In 20 years, you could have $114,000. In 30 years, $341. In 40 years, $656. Um, in the word, it, it's in the words of Chelsea, girl, what? <laughs> First of all, what does this have to do with paparazzi? Second of all, uh, uh what was that that I was supposed to invest in? What, what was that? Uh, third of all. How if you're make if you're making five dollars a day or one hundred fifty a month, then you're not get then your ten percent is not one hundred fifty. Ten per <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ten percent of one hundred fifty is fifteen. So you gotta lop a little zero off that, and that's gonna make that total a lot smaller. But it, like that doesn't even matter. Is like what what does this have to do with? <laughs> <laughs> you guys you can put money away you can make money in this business you can put it in an investment and there it doesn't matter if it's with your downline that is extra the comp plan that is extra but you selling jewelry i can show you myself by me selling a hundred thousand dollars a month i'm sorry but this works you do not sell $100,000 a month. You don't. You just don't. That, that's over three grand a day, seven days a week. That's $138 of jewelry an hour, every hour if you went 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Sure. Okay. So I'm going to go with um, that's bullshit. Again, I can't believe this is your defense of paparazzi. You're talking, I, God, it's so offensive that you are talking about $5 jewelry and your mystery box investments, whatever. I can't. It, you can make money if you have a team or not. I, my PayPal, I had a hundred thousand dollars in sales. You can do it too. But guess what? I'm grinding. I'm willing to go live once a week or once a day, twice a day, Sh throw albums on there, do some um, boomerangs, do some TikToks. There are so many things. Are you doing engagement? Are you doing this daily? Are you talking to your customers? Are you forming relationships? Are you meeting new people? Are you talking to your warm market and your cold market? Well, what is that? Your warm market and your cold market, friends, family, anyone that you know, you make a list of 100 people, you reach out to them. What are you doing to move that needle so you can move to the next, to the next level? If you really want to be able to bring your kids on that vacation, how are you going to do it? Obviously, you don't want it bad enough. If you want it bad enough, you're going to be doing those. There have been times that I worked my butt off and it's like at first, well, I only have one viewer. I don't know what to do. You guys, you have to start somewhere. And if you go out to going live five and six times a week and then you drop down once a week, I'm sorry, you have to start over. I've had to start over multiple times. But if you're willing to get in there and grind, you're willing to get in there and work your business, I promise you, you will see success. It has nothing to do with your upline or your downline. It all depends on you. 
And if you are working your business, you're gonna have people follow. You're gonna, and you talk about your business. You talk about what it's done for you, what you've been able to do, and you put your money back into your business. You don't just put it in your pocket because when you put it in your pocket, guess what? Your husband or your significant other thinks that you're just racking up the credit card when they don't see those profits. You guys, I can go on and on. But if you are not focused on your- What? How am I gonna, how am I gonna take my kid on a vacation if I'm putting all my money back into paparazzi? Also, you know you can use those profits to pay off that credit card? God, the financial literacy is at an all-time low. Uh, uh, also, you know, if I, if I want to go on a trip, I think I'm going to go with my job where I can make $5 in 12 minutes or less versus where I can make $5 a day, okay? I'm going to need me a little bit more than a Subway sandwich. Goals, what do you truly want? What do you want? If you want to have retirement, you can have that. You don't have retirement. If you want just to have an extra $100 a month so you don't have to answer to anyone and you want to be able to buy your kids new clothes. How are you going to buy your kids, plural, new clothes, plural, with $100? When you are, if you're, if you are that in need of money, that $100 a month is like super significant. You probably have a bigger problem here. Also, <laughs> again, you $100 in a month. I make that in like three hours. Like what? This is such a joke. This is not worth dying over. And I, again, I can't believe you have not addressed. I can't believe you want to talk about convention, but you don't want to talk about actual human beings who have died as a result of your company. You can do that. You can have whatever you want, but you surf in Facebook, you posting about this and that and Susie Q and you watching this person and that person and you are not laser focused, you will not get there. So you obviously do not want it bad enough. How bad do you want this? Do you want it bad enough to die? I want you right now to go and you figure out what you want. What do you want more than anything? You write that down. You print a picture off because if you saw my well, you'd see I've got quotes on there. I have a thing that says you are enough, you are capable, and you are able, and you are willing. You can do this, but do you really want it? What are you doing? Are you making those phone calls? Are you going live? Well, I'm tired. I, you guys, there are tons of times that I've been tired, that my I've gone weeks with me getting home late and getting up early that my kids haven't seen me. But that is my own personal choice. That is what I want. Because I want to be able to have more time with them and go take them to Disneyland and go pay for the private tours because that's what I want. So that's what I have worked for for me to do. But everybody is different. An MLM is not an effective way to spend more time with your kids because you're just going to be on your phone all the time. Are you telling me that you would go to Disneyland and you would not still be working your business? I don't believe that for one second because it never ends with you. Even if you do rank up, it never ends with you people. It never ends. And once again, I just want to drive home that you literally have a better chance of dying as a result of a paparazzi convention than you do of making it to even the second highest rank. You want to go to the beach? You want to go and do things? You can do this. You want to go to the beach? Drive to the beach. Jesus. You have it in you. There are people that are shy, that are timid, that I have seen jump leaps and bounds. But you guys, it just depends on what you truly want. I want to live. So you better print out that picture of what you want. You put it on your wall and you have a paper that you write below it and you just think every day, what am I doing today to move the needle? If it's five minutes, if it's an hour, if it's five hours, I don't care what it is. But what are you going to do to move the needle so you can move yourself closer to that goal so you can move to the next level and you can do what your heart desires? Do you have retirement? What yeah. What is that going to look like? 
because I talked to uh, my insurance agent today and he's like, well, I said, I want to talk to you about life insurance. And he's like, well, a half a million would be this. You guys, I can't die and leave a half a million to my children. What about your consultants that died? Life insurance is not meant to be an inheritance. It's usually meant to cover like final expenses and like to cover the wages and income that would be lost. Also, I I actually and if you're if you're asking what what do you want, I think it is appropriate for at minimum for paparazzi to pay for the funerals of the consultants and spouses that have passed. I I think that's literally the least you could do. I think that they should pay for the funerals and all those um, expenses. It's literally the least you could do. To some of you, yes, that may seem like a lot, but that now with this day and age, I'm sorry. It's not gonna get you anywhere. It's not. Health prices have gone up. Price of goods have gone Life insurance is not meant, is like, like, life, the, like, the purpose of life insurance is not, like, so people can buy a house. Like, it's to replace what was lost, like, in terms of income and to cover funeral expenses and to cover, you know, just general expenses with that lost income. Gone up. Um, food has gone up. Things have gone up in price. Yeah, it's called fucking inflation. So I'm looking at, oh, I need five or 10 million. Well, I don't even want to depend on that. I'm going to have enough money in the bank that even if I die or if I don't die, I know. If you don't die. <laughs> what? You're just, <laughs> you're just not, you're going to, you're just going to sell paparazzi for all eternity. Is that what it is? Yeah. You're, you're thinking about wealth. Usually that type of wealth isn't going to be in the bank, though. If you're talking about wealth that gets inherited, that's going to be like in, t in, the, in the form of a house or property or something that you can leave to your children. Like, it, like, it's, not, like it's not a bank account, usually. I mean, there will usually be some like cash assets and stuff, but like the biggest chunk of that is usually going to be like your home and like your, you know, property or whatever, you know, cause they, they usually say the best, the best time to start saving for retirement, I think is five generations ago right now. Yeah. My family is taken care of. I want to have a legacy for my family. What do you want? Well, I hope that the legacy for those 10 consultants was squared away. Do you want your kids to look back and be able to see, oh my gosh, my grandma or my grandpa, this is them. They are Brittany Frank. This is them live. I can see their old lives. I see how fun they are. On I see the company that killed their lives. I see, I have a video. I've got these things that are on Facebook forever that they can go back and watch you. Look at what type of person they are. They're very motivating. They were very, they were nice. They were giving. What type of person do you want your generations below you to remember you as? Wow, you it seems like you really don't see the victims of your convention as actual people. Yes. That's what you need to think about. Yeah, I agree. Me? My kids can make their own gosh darn money, but as long as they're young, I know they will be very much taken care of. And so it's looking at what your why is and you talk about it and you post and you have engagement and you go live because the more you go live, I don't care if there's one viewer, zero viewers, you don't know who's going to watch it, who's going to share it, who's going to buy later. You guys, this works. I have tested it. The more you go live, the more people are going to see you. The more you talk to people, you're going to have more of those VIP customers. You can have this. You have the support. There's... 
um, YouTube. I have put out trainings. I know that there's a bunch of leaders that have shared trainings. They've shared docs. You have the support. You have the thing. It has nothing to do with who signed you up. And be grateful that if you like them or you don't like them, I don't really give a crap. Because, you guys, your success depends on you. So. Are you all right? At the end of this, you guys are at a perfect timing. Right now, people need a side hustle. They want that extra money. They want to know that they have a retirement. That right now is the time to spread the word about how amazing this company is, what they do for you, what they give back. I'm sorry, but if you see all the gifts that they give to you for convention, for all the different things that we get. What about that virus? For life of the party, for different ranks, for going on a shopping spree, for hitting certain things. These are things that this company does not have to do, but they do it for you. So I just want you to know the ball's in your court now. I am your biggest cheerleader. My mom is your biggest cheerleader. We are rooting for you. We know you guys can do this. You are amazing. But it depends on you at the end of the day. Are you willing to press that live button? Are you willing to call that next person? Are you willing to get on and do an opportunity to live? Do an Are you willing to die and have your death be referred to as drama and completely ignored? Completely, 100% ignored and suppressed by the company that you gave your life for? Engagement post. What are you doing? Are you going to try and prospect people? What are you doing to try and move to the next level? And you think about it every day. What am I going to do? If you need to call one person or 50 people, I don't care what it is. Everybody has a different thing and they have different time. But if you're going to get in there and grind, you're going to move and you're going to jump leaps and bounds. I am total proof of it. I went from hitting a executive producer down to hitting zero. I went down to nothing and my numbers have gone back up and it's hard to start over. I will tell you that straight up it is, but I'm not, a, I'm not a quitter. I'm not going to give up. I don't have time to go watch other people's lives unless I'm going to learn from them. How are you going to grow every day? What are you doing? Are you listening to a motivational book? Are you going to find a mentor? Are you going to have an accountability partner? What are you doing to help yourself grow? Think about it. And it's not sitting there all day, well, I found all these ideas. No, you find something, you work on it, you execute it. And then you, you plan it, you review it, you do it, and then you revise it and you look and you make sure and then you move to the next idea. You guys know what to do. It's all there. You just need to do it. Are you willing to do it? I love you all. My mom's looking at me because she's like, Brittany, get off now because I need to go live. You guys are amazing. I'm sorry for the rant, and, but I'm just, I'm so passionate about this because I love this company. It is my family. You guys are my family. I, it has done so much for me. I actually sent a message that my children, I am so grateful for this pandemic, you guys. My children were, my twins were born at 25 weeks. They were three grades behind. They counted them as needing an IEP, as in the handicap program, as not being smart enough, and it's okay. You guys, I'm not okay with that. I, I know my kids can do better. I am able, I was able to drop a lot of money, like thirty to $40,000 on my kids to get them caught up because nobody else cared. I was able to do that because of this company, because of my business, because of me working my butt off. You guys, I love my kids more than anything and I will do anything in the world and they know that I am there, that I will be there in a heartbeat for them. But I am not scared to work so hard so they can have opportunities like me being able to have private lessons for them because that is something that I want. Maybe you want something different and that's totally fine. That is okay. What Brittany wants and what you want are two different things and it is okay. It is okay if you have things going on that you need to take a step back. But when I hear that you're gonna quit, that's you giving up. I'm sorry, but that's the hard truth. And it's all out of love. But if you truly want this, 
you can do that here. I love you all. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'm sorry if this hit home to some of you guys, if I hurt some feelings, but I just had to let you know where I'm at. I love you. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks. Bye. I am so grateful for this pandemic. What a heinous statement. I can't believe you would say that and then put it up online when the pandemic just killed 10 of your fellow consultants. Stop saying I love you all at the end of your little lives because if you actually loved everyone at that company, you would actually acknowledge it when one of them passes away, let alone when 10 of them pass away. <laughs> Heinous. So that's, that's paparazzi. It's, it's it's probably one of the most culty ones out there. Um, I've, I've seen them get really, really emotional about it, like even more so than other MLMs before. And just this, this, I, clearly, it, it's almost like she doesn't even know what happened. There, but there's no way you don't know. I, it's, it's insane, it's insane, the duality. She's talking about how she wants to be there for her kids, wants to leave stuff for her kids. What about the people who can't be there for their kids because they're dead now? Like, unbelievable. So I just felt like we had to share that. So, absolutely disgusting. Also, she, she deleted it on YouTube, but she left it up on Facebook. So she clearly stands by everything that she said. So that's paparazzi. Um, that's, that's the video that paparazzi people put up, uh, after 10 of their supposed family die. Disgusting. I mean, just when you thought it couldn't get any more repugnant and just morally bankrupt, it does. All right, everybody. I've been Mac. Have a good weekend. Peace out. Bye.